No problem. I really like to talk about these two players, but don't forget Roberto Firmino. Please. Please. Not a day like this. I know he didn't score. He was really angry about not scoring when I, when I took him over. I said, what a performance. And he said, I want to score. Um, yes, it was it's very important to have these players. You can have the best match play in the world. If the players are not good enough for it, then it doesn't help. So players decide the games on the pitch, especially the good games. And um, yeah, we had a few very difficult things to, to decide for since yesterday. Um, bringing Sadio Mane from the beginning after his injury, after one session, yesterday the second session with the team. I never did it before, to be honest. Um, something like this, obviously not the worst idea I've ever had. Um, Changing the system without proper training again. Yesterday, first time we did it, the 4-4-2, which looked maybe from the beginning like a very offensive lineup. We had actually the different idea. We wanted to defend deeper, more compact, and using the space which we have then for the counter attacks. We will never know how it would have been if you don't score the first one. <laughs> but I think it was kind of an open game until then. Eh? So it was, um, we, had to adapt, we, we had to get used to it a little bit. We had to, it's difficult for the boys to, 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 um, to wait a little bit more for the challenge than to jump always. Um, both things are good, both things are promising. If you are not passive, if you only, if you do it in a smart way, we, we did it, but it didn't feel so you could see it, it for the boys it didn't feel so good. Um, then we scored the first one, fantastic counter attack. We scored the second one, um, the second set piece goal in one week. I don't think I had that since I'm in Liverpool, so that's really special. I had two two set piece goals in one week or maybe more, but on the other side, and um, and um, so that was good. Then two one um, after they changed. Andy Carroll is a threat. <laughs> Each high ball, he's really working hard for it, and, and he's not the only threat then. So at the, uh, at the end, the smallest in the, in the box scored, um, but everybody's looking at him, and so you're a, a, a step too late um, in the other challenge because you want to protect the challenge with, with Andy Carroll. So that was our mistake. Response again, outstanding, good, fantastic situation from Roberto Firmino. Yeah, the, the ball was kind of it was not a real, what do we want to do with this ball? But he thought, let's run in this direction and pass the ball to Ox. Ox had two tries and um, used the chance. And the fourth one, then again, brilliant play with Sadio Mane so, and, and Mosala, what a finish. So, story of the game. Eh? Games sometimes, unfortunately for us so far, not often enough, are like this. But for today, this week, is. Um, of course, a fantastic week. We had um, what, two weeks ago. We, I was I'm not sure how far away the Wembley is from here, um, but I felt quite different. Um, and now we responded on that really well. We knew after that game in Tottenham that we were bad. Tottenham is always good, but we were the main reason for this result. So we wanted to strike back, and the boys did with three really nice results. I decided actually after one session, but he had another one yesterday, but that's not too much, yeah, that's right. Why, why did you do that with his performance and training and his yeah. mentality? Well, it was, um, so Sadio obviously a natural fit player, so he is, uh, is a, a little machine, so that's how it is. So he, but in, in training, when we, when we trained um, after the Maribor game, his first session on Thursday, it was a little bit stiff at the beginning and then he, you could see how he starts enjoying the intensity. And that's why we decided we, sh we should we should try it. And um, I asked him 
because I, I cannot see how he feels after that session. So if it, I said in the press conference yesterday, so he's ready for 25 minutes. Um, yeah, obviously he was ready for 25 plus and um, good for us. Yeah, but that day it didn't start well. Huh? So we had we did the, all the tactical things yesterday, which we did with the new system, with Jordan on the six. And then, um, if you ask him now, he, he he told me I can play. Unfortunately, the medical departments are a little bit different. So we after a week like this, it's normal that the players feel a little bit uh, with their muscle muscles, but. Um, Jordan felt different, obviously, for for the for the physiotherapist. So I had to make this decision. He was not in the squad. You, if he cannot start, then you cannot bring him in. And after ten minutes, you have to make another change. So maybe he could have. I'm not sure, um, but he is injured. So oh, that's what I. This news I got today. But it was even more funny because Gini Wijnaldum tried yesterday, and after training, we said no chance. And then overnight, he improved. We, we took him with us. But only to be closer to the doctor tomorrow. <laughs> he had no boots with him. This morning they told me it improved a lot, so we could drive. We only have to organize boots. I'm not sure where we got them from now, to be honest. But um, obviously he had some. Again, sir. A lot. So I think in life it's always important that um, I don't I don't listen to be honest to what you say after not you especially but after after game like Tottenham <laughs> because it makes no sense. So if we are bad, I know it before you can write it. So and that was the, that was the situation in Tottenham. It was um, it was it was just it was it was not a good response on the Maribor game. It's not that we would compare Tottenham and Maribor. It's only we had a seven 0 during the week, um, Tottenham had an intense game. I think they played Madrid or something there. Um, and we came here, we were not spot on. So that should not happen. To be honest, it, that didn't happen so f in my life very often with my teams. So I, I'm in. It's my responsibility that they are spot on. But so for five to, or ten minutes, I, it, I, it needs to be allowed to be really angry. I was. And I was still angry the next morning, so we spoke about the game. So that's it, not to blame single players how you do, no, to blame the, the, the team, how it's right. And um, that's, um, that was the situation. It was not a centre-half who made the mistakes, it was a centre-half who lost a header challenge. The whole team didn't protect that situation. So, and we have to change that. And that was one of the things what we did a lot in the, since then. Not that we started then, but I thought we know it already, and obviously we forgot it for this game, and then we had to do it again. And that's why we changed the, the, the one of that was one of the reasons why we changed the system today. I said it looked like a very offensive lineup, but it was a very defensive lineup. We had two sixes, clear sixes. We had two real midfielders on the wing. Sadio and and Ox had to do the job. They both did the job, and Roberto and and Mo had really to defend, really to defend against this against West Ham. So. That helps the last line, and that's what we did. And for today, um, it worked. I'm always worried. That's uh, to be honest. It's, it's the most difficult time for me when I cannot. Um, it can happen every day. It can happen in our training. It can happen in their training. It can happen in the games. That's how it is. Um, um, but I have no problem with international games, and I, I really, really happy for Senegal that they can go to the to the um, to the World Cup, and they need Sadio Mane for this. I understand that he's fit to play. The only thing what I would ask for, if if they can make it in the first game, then it would be cool if he could come back and could make the preparation for our game for against Southampton. That's the only thing, but it's not. I cannot decide things like we said. Don't even try. Um, um, but we are in contact now. First, he goes there. He recovers now. Has a long flight, but then he will. Um, if nothing happens, he will play the game. Good news for Senegal. Um, he needs real recovery. So if you know the coach, tell him. 
after this game today, and then um, he will be ready for South Africa. I didn't mention it in the in the meeting, but I like it. To, I like to have it. But um, yes, what can I say? You want you win four one at at, um, at West Ham, and I go go in the dressing room and shout at them because they conceded a goal. But fortunately, I'm not like this. So we have now plus four. That's if you would have told me that before the game, I would have taken it 100%. So, however, seven three. Or, or seven, five, uh, four, don't care. Um, plus four is good. Okay. Sam, to finish, just put on your list of your uh, list. Jamie Carragher said before you came to Mohamed Salah is the best value signing we've seen so far. He's two goals short of Coutinho's total for last season already. I mean, are you surprised at just how quick his I know he's played in the Premier League before, but how quick his impact has been? No. We, um, we've watched him so often. We saw him so often. Scouting the department was really behind me and wanted really that we do it even earlier, that nobody else can jump in, but we had a lot of different options. He was the he was the um, the decision of all of us. So when you when when you, when you find a situation when everybody who is um, doing the job agrees about a player, then you can be sure that will work. Um, and yes, it's really nice to have to have him, um, but um, and to be in that team, um, he is he's a real goal threat. He's he's an offensive midfield player, which is more a striker. That's true, um, and he needs to adapt. Needed to adapt a little bit to the different style to Rome. He played very often a second striker at Rome together with Jaco. Today he had the position. Obviously, he likes it. We will see what we make of it. Now they go all away, and they hopefully come all back. Um, healthy, that's the most important thing. Then Adam Alarana will be back hopefully after us. Then um, Phil Coutinho, Sadio, um, um, don't want to forget anybody. So we had um, Hendo, of course, and that's, that helps us a lot. We have so many games, and now is the, the most busy time is coming now. Um, in, in, in this circumstance, because we are not here for two weeks, I only want to ask is there a reason no one knows about it, why, we, why nobody plays at a in the midweek, in the first on January, because they put us again on 30 and the first, but they could easily play all the t all the games on the third and the fourth. So I don't understand it. Is it not possible to play? Is there any another bonfire day or something like this? No. Why is it? Uh, does anybody know? Which one? The first. Yeah, but you, you can't watch it in in the television. Our game in Burnley, you can't watch it on television. Eh? So what do you need on holiday that you wait uh, until um, match of the day or what? You could. It's not on television. Our game. So if it's television, then then we say okay, we sign the contract, we do it. It's not on television. Why we don't play Tuesday? I said because I stay with it before we played and long before. We will never talk about it again. That's crazy. We are not the only one. Burnley has to do the same job as I do, and, and all the other teams. Only if you meet somebody and he knows why, um, he can call me. <laughs> Thank you very Thank you. much.